Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be whipping up some lunch for my kids. Now what's special about it is that I'm gonna be using an induction burner. Now I usually have always used gas stoves because I cook with cast iron, but this reminds me a lot of when we had to stay in a hotel for three weeks before this house was ready to rent when we moved here. Whew, we had an induction burner we had to cook there, I had two burners, and that's what I had to live off of for three weeks with the three kids there in the hotel. So that was fun. But this kind of reminds me of that and it brings back some good memories or some stressful memories depending on which ones I think of. So we're going to use this and I want to see how this will work. I like that it's portable so that way if I go camping or if I go somewhere I can bring this with me and I don't have to worry about not having anything to cook on. So I'm going to be making a quick and easy dinner for my kids. I have some dried tortellini here. I have a jar of sun-dried tomato alfredo sauce that I got for a dollar on clearance at Walmart. Originally $2.48. So I'm going to throw this in there. We really like that sauce. A can of white chicken. And then I have a bag of broccoli that I'm working through, so I'm going to put some broccoli in there. And then I just got some shredded Parmesan cheese. That's all I'm going to be cooking. I'm excited to give this a try, though. So let's get this pot on here. I'm going to start with just a stainless steel pot. Let's move this over so the handle's not sticking out, less likely to cause an accident. Ooh, I already turned on. don't know if I have to have it sideways. I guess I could do it this way since i'm not using the back burner there we go did you offer a horizontal one for this exact reason all right we're going to press this for the front one so on front goes up to power nine we'll do that we'll see how long it takes to boil i am going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt to this to make it salt water because we are going to be cooking our tortellini and our broccoli at the same time so let's set a timer, shall we? There we go. And we'll see how long this takes to boil. I guess I could put a lid on it. There we go. All right, guys, we're at a boil. We're at six minutes. It's boiling, not too bad. I'll take that. So I'm gonna add three cups of tortellini. I'm also gonna throw in the broccoli, if it'll fit. <laughs> there we go and we're gonna cook that for about five minutes all right she's super hot so we're going to turn it down so i just need it to simmer so down to p2 perfect all right still cooking oh wait that no that's fine that's fine all right, guys, this is done. I'm going to pull it off, though, without turning it off. Let's see what happens. See if it turns off itself. Oh, error zero. Yeah. It doesn't like it. All right, let's put it back on. There we go. So it turns off. Of course, I had to get the smallest bowl possible. All right, chicken. Sauce. I can do it. I can do it. I just gotta heat up the sauce and the chicken, so it won't be too bad. And that is what's for lunch. I'm gonna let this cool and then we'll see how we can clean it up. I got her nice and dirty. Tortellini, chicken, broccoli, Alfredo. Pretty good to me. Mm-hmm. One pot meals are the best. All right, let's go feed the children. Hey everybody, it is the next day and this is completely cooled down. So let's get down here and let's see how well it cleans up. All I have here is a dish rag with Dawn dish soap and some hot water. I'm just gonna run this around the circle, or I'm sorry, run this around the top in circular motions here. Now, after you use this for a while, some spots may develop on it, but that's okay. That's completely normal, and it is not going to affect the cleaning in any way. Go back and forth. Now, the hands out. 
here still. <laughs> Look at that shine. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very curious if this induction burner can actually handle cast iron like it says it can. Not only is it good with cast iron, but stainless steel, aluminum, copper, glass, and many more. I've always heard that you don't want to use cast iron with flat tops or induction heat at all, but London Sunshine says it's ready to go. So let's give it a try. We're going to put it on here. I'm going to get it up to an eight to get it high. And we are going to toast some jalapeno cheddar bread and let's see how much of a toast we can get with it. So let's let this warm up. I'm going to butter some bread and we're going to get toasty. Well, I see the cast iron smoking. It's a good sign. I'm super impressed with my London Sunshine induction burner. If you are as well, I hope you check them out in the link below. Make sure you use my coupon for an exclusive discount. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time on Mama Birds.